Hi guys, uh, I'm Shiv, one of the fourth year medical students in Newcastle University. So today I'm just going to have a bit of a chat about my three top tips to build a good surgical portfolio. The first top tip is being enthusiastic. So um, you basically got to show your enthusiasm for surgery from day one, being that talking to different surgeons, um, sending some emails just to sort of shadow on day-to-day -day basis um, attending some clinics or some surgeries um, anything that you can do and uh, I would also advise to sort of reading upon some papers and seeing what's going around in the surgical settings itself and just being more enthusiastic and showing interest to the surgeon because all the surgeons are out there uh, are willing to help all the medical students because once they were medical student uh, uh, themselves so they know the struggles of actually getting enrolled into the surgery um, so I would I would advise you to sort of get in touch with uh, the consultants or the surgeons in your area you can do that by joining different societies or you can talk to your uh, sort of seniors in uh, years above or the junior doctors and they can put you in touch with uh, different surgeons and I would really recommend actually being there and witnessing firsthand what they do on day-to-day -day basis uh, and showing your enthusiasm so my second bit of advice would be experience so I would recommend uh, gaining experience by joining different surgical societies or attending conferences and uh, you can also um go to the different workshops that are provided by different uh, different societies and uh, there's a vast amount of things that they do such as suturing, knot tying, uh, tendon repair and things like that which sort of brush up your skills uh, for surgery itself and uh, you can also go to different conferences um, and the conference is a great way to sort of meet different surgeons so you can, uh, you can talk to different surgeons and different surgeons that excel in different research uh, projects in different areas and you can also br use that to sort of brush up your skills by attending different surgeries or getting in involved in different research projects or audits uh, because these audits and research products, uh, projects are really useful to sort of put towards your portfolio in the end and that actually shows uh, links back to the first advice of showing enthusiasm as you've participated in different different projects. So my third bit of advice is to keep record of everything that you do. So let alone being if you've uh, been to any surgery just quickly jot down that on this day you were with this surgeon and you were you saw this surgery and that if you assisted in that surgery that's brilliant uh, there are different sort of um, uh, electronic uh, portfolio that you can sort of pay a little bit towards and keep a record of everything uh, that you do and if you do assist in surgery there are quite a few bits that you need to put on but it, it, it's it, it's really useful as you can keep a record of from day one what it, whatever you've done and it shows a sort of a longitudinal process that you've been interested in surgery from day one and uh, you can uh, other things to keep record of would be your attended certificates from uh, conferences, from different talks, uh, and if you've presented your research or your audit in, let alone be uh, regional, national or international meetings, uh, those certificates are really useful. So I would recommend keeping us of a printed copy in a file, as well as keeping an electronic copy either on your laptop or a PC, because sometimes things go wrong and you lose some data or some files. So having two different records are really useful. So. So just to sort of conclude, having a good, showing your enthusiasm to sort of your consultants from day one will get you to places. Uh, having experience uh, by sort of getting in touch with different consultants, shadowing them, participating in surgeries and sort of assisting is really useful. And third one, keeping record of pretty much everything um, would help you along the lines because, because you can sort of show the longitudinal process that you've been through and that you're actually interested in surgery. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. I would really encourage all the medical students to get your hands in this surgery because there are different, different things happening in surgery uh, and it's ever evolving and it's a great specialty to be in. Thanks. Eat.